Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com and ElectronicLessons.com. This is a, a new kit that I put together. Actually, I've had this PCB for a while. I've just been too lazy to do the programming. It is a an ultrasonic uh, proximity detector with three different settings. It's got a powerful onboard relay that allows for you to switch on uh, AC devices such as lamps and fans, or DC devices if you'd prefer, such as motors. Uh, well, some motors, anyway. Um, anyway, so there are three settings. High sensitivity, low sensitivity, and toggle. And it's all controlled by one button on power on. So let me give you a quick demonstration on how to use it. And then I'll give you uh, an even better demonstration showing the ranges of each mode. Okay, so there are, uh, as I mentioned, three modes. By default, if you just power it on, again, there's a, there's a power switch here. Right now it's off, and here's our select button. So by default, what will happen is if I turn it on and don't press anything, we'll enter into high sensitivity mode, which is mode 2, and you'll see the LED blink twice. Now, if I put my hand or an object roughly a meter, maybe just under a meter maximum, in front of the uh, ultrasonic um, transmitter receiver, and to remove it, LED will turn off, relay will turn off. Relay on, relay off. So, I'm holding my hand there. I'm bringing it back. So that's high sensitivity mode. Now, low sensitivity mode is mode 3. Now what we have to do here is turn it off. Turn it on, wait a second. And press the button. So press the button a second after you apply power, and the LED blinks three times. Now we're in low sensitivity mode. Now I put my hand back there, nothing. I have to bring it in within a foot or closer. So there you go, low sensitivity mode, uh, up to about a foot. So uh, now all that's left is toggle mode. Toggle mode, all you have to do is turn off the power, Press down the but the cell button, apply power, and we're in toggle mode. We've got the same sensitivity as uh, as high sensitivity mode, mode two. Only this time the relay will toggle every time you break it. Now, if you hold your hand there, it'll stay off. Again, hold it. It'll it won't keep toggling while you're while something's blocking it. Pretty neat, huh? Anyway, uh, how it works is there's an onboard 555 timer which pulses to our transmit, uh, our, our transmitter, ultrasonic transmitter, uh, sorry, ultrasonic sensor. The ultras that that pulses out a 4D kilohertz signal, and that's when that when bounced off an object, uh, it's received and amplified in the receiver, and sent to a PIC 10F222. Uh, into the counter pin, and basically it's a it's a matter matter of counting and comparing because the frequency is different based on the distance between. Um, sorry, I'm in the wrong mode for that. Um, based on the distance that the object is from the sensor, hence high sensitivity mode and low sensitivity mode. Now I can have this turning on a lamp, L lamp on, lamp off, lamp on, lamp off, motor on, motor off. I can turn it off, turn it back on enter into uh, high sensitivity mode and someone walks by uh, you want to have a loud uh, 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 siren alarm uh, if someone walks by it scares the pants off them siren on siren off siren on siren off I programmed in a little bit of a delay just so it's not going Click, 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 if you're right on the brink of the distance. And you can also, and I wouldn't suggest using this necessarily unless you're feeling adventurous, is there's also yeah, three pins here for uh, external ground, or, or basically it's just a ground pad, a VCC rec uh, regulated 5 volt pad, and uh, an external pad for external frequency. You can actually feed an external frequency between 35 and 50 kilohertz to the transmitter. All you have to do is remove this jumper called 555 enable and and just place your uh, 
place your uh, your external signal there and that will feed the, the transmitter so you can putter around with that anyhow long enough video I have to make an assembly video for this uh, we'll be selling this in fully assembled form and in kit form so if you feel up to it fancy uh, check us out at uh, engineeringshock.com and electroniclessons.com I'll have an assembly video up in a couple days thanks for watching everyone